morning and I have my little munchkin with me uh, today we are going to do some baby shopping because we need to get a few things for Madison she has discovered that she can now fully roll back to front and front to back so we need to get some pads mats pads for the floor to extend on the one that we already have now which is that yellow one there so we need to grab that and there's a few other things because she's nearly six months old I can't believe it she's nearly six months old and say hi So yeah, well, I think I will probably put her down for a nap first and then we'll probably head out. I want to try and reorganize her drawers and clothing because they've got a bit out of hand. <laughs> but yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do today and then maybe we'll do something else this afternoon. Not sure, time dependent, I guess. Depends on how long we spend at the shops and how much stuff we buy at the shops, baby-wise, because I think because she has started rolling, she is now trying to crawl and it's uh, a bit of an eye opener only because I guess I wasn't expecting her to want to crawl straight away after learning to roll properly but she's trying to get on her knees or her hands she can do either but she can't do them both at the same time so I think a little bit of baby proofing won't go astray because I don't think it'll be long until she's at least found a way to be mobile so we'll see how it goes This is what happens sometimes. Sometimes bubbies need to be fed. And sometimes the place to feed them is in the boot of your car. So Madison's gone down for a nap now and I thought I would try and tackle her room. Now, if you can see her dresser has just been covered in things that we've brought back from holiday and what fits and what doesn't fit and it's just a mess. And then there's like a box clothes on the floor that's stuff that needs to go away because it doesn't fit anymore and then dirty washing because there's new washing that needs to be sort of sorted to see what fits and what doesn't fit and then we've got boxes of stuff that doesn't fit that needs to be put away and then just like a change station really needs sort of like a bit of a reorganize it's just got a bit messy and out of hand when you're in a bit of a rush but yeah Hopefully we can make this look a little better than it currently does. So yeah, let's see what we can do.
So her room is finally clean. It's obviously a lot later in the day because I've been cleaning it and doing other things and looking after Madison and just lots of different things. Anyway, so let's have a look. So this is a major, major improvement on what it was before because there was, you know, clothes mounded here. So what I've done is this is all the size she's in now. Sorry, it's a bit dark because it's night time. So that's double zero. And then these ones over here, except that jacket and those two cardigans on the end, those ones. So all this stuff here is zero and they're all mostly dresses. So, and just sort of as she's starting to get into that size, and a jumper in that size and things like that because she's sort of halfway grown out of double zero half this stuff i might get another wear out of but it's quite it's on the small side and she's only been in double zero for maybe three weeks four weeks so i'm a bit i'm a bit devo that it's going to be not worn for very long but she has definitely worn i think nearly everything in there except a couple of things so that's good. <clears throat> this is all clear now. Just her little light up M. So I recently noticed that Madison had outgrown some of the shoes that she was wearing. So these are all the new ones that she has. And I'm really excited because I wore jelly sandals when I was a kid. So jelly sandals. These were a pair of Adidas trainers that my sister bought. Madison for when she was born and these are her first pair of Converse which is super exciting because these ones were the blah. these were the ones that we used for our pregnancy announcement so I'm super excited that she'll be able to get into those and we'll be able to both have white Converse and then these were a pair of Ralph Lauren oh no yeah shoes that my mum bought when she found out we were pregnant so all exciting to have those shoes out and the drawers are all organized Oop. in my trusty scub organizers I know the lighting's really really bad but essentially like bottoms and tights and skirts vests onesies that she can sort of wear that she doesn't wear to bed we're probably going to use these she's going to grow out of these pretty quick so these are all double zero but she is quite long, so we found that some of them are on the tight side. And then these are her Bonds Wondersuit Zippies. If you've seen my newborn essentials video, they're essentially a baby essential. I love them. Um, so these are the ones that she wears to bed, and I just think they are amazing. Which is, but yeah, much, much more organised. Shoe box is getting less because she's actually getting into them, so they're out socks hats headbands and a beret i think random tights and bathers now these bathers are probably on the small side but i will judge when i need to get bathers on her again i haven't bought any more because i don't think she's gonna need any more and to explain my love of bonds one to six zippies is the next size and i've actually just bought the size above this so this is zero yeah this is zero the ones in the drawer over there are double zero which is in now and then I've just bought size one and then there's just some extra spare clothes cot nice and clear because we are going to try and get her to sleep in it a little bit more perhaps in the day but yes floors clear chairs clear we've put all the four boxes that ended up being of clothes and change table all reorganized all reorganized i'm definitely going to do a video on how i organize my change table but as you can see i've got a whole bunch of like boxes of nappies and wipes and a whole bunch of other stuff and then on the top i just have the basics so a thing of wipes hand sanitizer bepanthen which is our preferred barrier cream this noisemaker thing which was in my newborn essentials video which we like to use and these disposable change pad covers to go over the soft fabric one we do use the fabric one but I just like to have this here for dirty nappies essentially uh, yeah 
but otherwise everything is much 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 better than it was earlier in the day and yes that is our dogs next door not our dogs next door's dogs barking but yeah super happy that that's done now hi guys it's sunday and it's much later than i usually start the vlog on sunday but we got up late and then madison went back down for a nap and in that time i am filming some videos for my channel and try not to mess up madison's room after I cleaned it yesterday and then I think later on we are going to go to my in-laws for lunch we actually haven't seen them since we got back from Bali so that'll be nice and my sister-in-law who is pregnant get some planning of her baby shower which is super exciting and then I think after that Ryan has a lighting job so um, my husband runs a party hire bleh. My husband runs a party lighting hire business on the side in addition to his Monday to Friday job so I think we're actually going to go for a drive to drop those lights off. Are you awake? Are you awake? Hi! I'm a cheeky chop. Hi! You need to move your spoon. Just driven to where Ryan has to drop off some lights and Madison is in the back there fighting the nap which is surprising because we're in the car but yeah we had a really nice lunch with my in-laws and Madison got a few little gifts and stuff which was nice and yeah it's all super exciting and we got our invitations to my sister's baby shower which is really exciting even though I'm knew about it but yeah it's nice to actually get the invitation and she's whistling what are you doing you cheeky chop were you just eating your shoe look at this shoe <laughs> looks like it's got slobber on it slobber 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 slob 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 slobber <laughs> it's all right where's your tummy gone there it is. Oh, oh no, that's your. There it is. There you go. Just dropped it. Look, it's you. Look at the fishies. Look at the fishies. Is that your, is that your fish? Or a daddy's fish? A fishy. <gasps> Yay. Who's that pretty girl? Who's that pretty girl? So Madison has gone to bed now and again like I think it's becoming almost a Sunday thing now. Uh, Ryan's gone out to get us dinner actually picking up a pizza so not our usual fish and chips for a change and I'm just surveying the damage of the weekend oh there's Henry say hi Henry this is my cat Henry but yes surveying the damage of the weekend 
Oh, there's our fish tank, which is actually back to normal now. But yes. And I'll probably start editing this vlog, maybe. I've got to get back into the habit of actually editing it on Sunday night and having it ready to upload on Monday. But sometimes on Sunday, I just want to eat my takeaway and watch my crap TV. But yes, I'm hoping that I'll be able to actually edit it tonight and it'll actually go up earlier tomorrow but we'll see but yeah i think that's probably going to be it for this weekend's vlog and hopefully i will see you in my next one